Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo? Back in Skyrim. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with Inigo and I. We made it back to Riften. I bet you're pretty pleased about that, aren't you, Inigo? Yes, my friend. What are you thinking about our trip back here? No, my mind is a song without words right now. It's a little groggy, eh? Well, it was a long trip, and it's getting into evening time, I believe. So we're going to head in. We're going to scope the place out. We've got uh, two more jobs to do, and we want to get these completed in a go before we take uh, go back into the ragged flag and, and just to, to impress them. Show them that we can do all these jobs at one time and not come back uh, to hang out and do nothing. So let's go. Uh, I wouldn't mind scoping out. We, we kind of investigated the town a little bit. Well, I did. But I wouldn't mind uh, checking it out a little further Sorry, while we wait. I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Uh oh. Currently in mourning. Well, what's the big deal? What's the problem here? Asgir Snowshot. Oh. You caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear to me. I'm sorry. Just give me a second. We'll talk about that. No shot. This is one of the jobs that we have to do, buddy. So I gotta just, just don't say nothing. Yes. What is it? Yes. So uh, you mentioned that you're in mourning. Well, can I ask why? What's going on? It was my sister, Lilia. Okay. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloaks. Right. We recently heard she'd been killed. I, I find it difficult to talk about. Right. I Perhaps understand. Perhaps you'd that. be better off speaking to my parents about it. Your parents, eh? Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Blackbriar Meadery keeps me busy. Ah, Perhaps the Blackbriar. my mind off of things. So you work for Maven, do you? So, uh, yeah. Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. Oh, so you're We've a front been man. staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. Right. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, gotcha. Figuratively, of course. Yeah, yeah, totally understand. So about your parents then, do they live in town here? My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Gotcha. He just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. Ah. His mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. Okay. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. So they're a little sour over all of this and so are you kind of like at odds with them or something like don't that? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. Okay, no, don't get they're upset. My parents and I love them dearly. Yeah, I totally I appreciate just that. they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. Right. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. Yeah. I appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. Oh, totally. The yeah. last thing I want to do is have my sealed. parents lose another child. Right. Yeah, no worries there. Now, I met Ulfric uh, in an unfortunate situation, but I don't know a lot about him, and I see there's like two sides of the fence of this whole situation. So, yeah, don't worry about it. My lips are sealed. I won't say a word. Uh, I'll be visiting your parents' house here uh, sooner rather than later, but uh, yeah, I'll talk to them. Have a good day. It's been good talking to you. It's been good talking to you too, Asgir. You take it easy, my friend. How are you today? They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. If one of those horrors comes here, we'll be ready. Yeah, I bet. You look like you're ready. Sorry, Man, I'm afraid I can't help you much. Were right you just now. up there? Currently in mourning. Yeah, I, 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 I know. We just discussed that. Do I look different in a different light or something? In a go, what? You know, the, the the whole of Skyrim seems to be a little up in arms about a the dragons, which I know we should be getting on soon. But I really came here for for this this thieves guild thing. I want to take care of this before we get because I know if we get ourselves entangled in this dragon situation we're I, I just somehow have a feeling we're gonna be uh busy for quite some time so also this war it's it's got people divided so uh i think us Khajiits from elsewhere gotta stick together and just stay out of the mayhem what do you think Inigo? good day sir Regans, i can handle this talk of dragons 
World's gone mad, I say. Yeah. Well, it's for real, my friend. What time we got here, Inigo? It's 6.55. We should go have a bite to eat, maybe. I know we ate a little bit on the carriage. Oh, he's going into that place. Now, I know we have a job to do here at the Snowshod residence. And that is it, Snowshod Manor. Okay. I think as per usual, Inigo. Oh, jeez, he's coming back out. Where did Inigo go? Inigo, oh, there you are. What the hell's going on? He's popping in all over the place. You can't see you. Anja, you're a cat, so you uh, got your shifty ways. I just kind of want to check out this place. See uh, what we may have missed. Now, I believe over here was Helga's place. We still got some uh, things to do for the kind girl that worked in there. And in behind here is that pawn prawn. Yeah, they're still open. Things are still lively, so we better just kind of be on our best behavior. Be behavior. Blackbriar Meadery. Wonder if we should go in there. I wonder if Maven would be right in the in the meadery, do you think? Because you know what? I, like I mentioned to you before, Inigo, I think we should stay on Maven's good side. As per direction from Brynjolf and from Delvin. Don't cross Maven. Now, Sibby asked us to go get this horse, the, these papers, and give them to Louis Latrush. So they're involved in a little scheme. And I think we should tell Maven about it. I think that'd be our best bet. We are thieves. We do do underhanded stuff. But I think we should talk to Maven about this. I think that would be the smartest thing that we can do. Ah, the bee and barb. Yes. We'll go in there in a bit. Who's this? Oh, she's still out here. How you doing today? Maurice. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. It is, is it? Some fresh meat to fill your belly, perhaps? Well, how do you keep your food so fresh? I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir. A small town over the border in Hammerfell. Hammerfell, okay. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use ice it as a wraith teeth. Ah, it's let me guess. Cold and fresh. You need somebody to get some for time. you, don't you? I'm always looking to replenish my supply. Right, this is so where I come ever in. Come across five of them. I'd be more than happy to take them off. Five of them. Ice wraith teeth. Well, guess what? I'm not going anywhere near any ice for a little while. Well, you never know. I'm a, an adventurer and a Khajiit, and I'm uh, always out and about. So I'll tell you what. If I come across some ice wraith teeth, I'll definitely bring them back to you, Maurice. How's that? Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. Well, you still might, because I... Uh, don't really plan on heading out there too terribly quick. Any idea where I can maybe find some of these? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite. And not all of them end up victorious. Yeah, the last great. last traveler that traded me some said he found them at a place called Ancient's Ascent. Ancient's Ascent. Careful, Rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. A dragon. Yeah, well, I, uh... Don't think that uh, I want to wrap myself up in that now but if I do come across them I'll definitely bring you Be some careful looking for those teeth those little bastards are dangerous yeah I might not have any teeth left either after this hey Snilf how's that gold going I gave you Percy honey hand oh yeah we dealt with him smashed his urn he got all pissed off Let's go in and have under my protection. You watch yourself now. Yeah, you look like you can really handle me too. All right, Inigo, let's go in and have a bite to eat. Maybe uh, sit down for a bit and relax, cause it's uh, we gotta wait a little while before we can go and tackle these jobs. So let's go have something to eat. Well, it's looking like it's pretty hopping in here today. Oh, my God, Inigo, there's Maven Blackbriar. Think we should go and talk mm -hmm. to her? 
I'm thinking maybe we should get a seat. Yeah, okay, well, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> Let us go. I don't know if there's a table available, Idigo. Um, I'm gonna go talk to Maven here, okay? Just give me a second. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fancy yourself the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. Uh... Yeah. I well, you're presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Uh, I actually I am. Some of the finest warriors in all Skyrim. To wield a blade as if it was an extension of my One at a time. One at a time. These Blackbriars really do think that they're, uh... Something else. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Hello, Miss Maven. No expense where I'm concerned. I'm heir to the family fortune. After I don't all. have time for idle chit chat. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what you can do is tell this guy to clam up, Once so I'm I can charge, say something. I have bigger aspirations than just Skyrim. Right. I plan to bring Charlie Sheen looking. All of okay, uh, Maven. How are you today? I'm sorry to interrupt you while you're eating your uh, mm. salmon steak there. And that and nice looking sweet roll. Don't touch it. One day as well. Yes, uh, very interesting. And uh, I have something I'd like to talk with you about. Um, I don't know if you know Louis Latrush and your son Sibby. Uh, seems to be that there's a bit of a plot to steal your horse Frost. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Louis, well, oh, Sibby sorry. Is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Well, actually, you know, I'm 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 newly enrolled with the Thieves Guild, and uh, we understand that you uh, somewhat support them. And uh, I just wanted to—I thought it would be the best thing to do—is just to let you know what was going on. And Latresh actually wants me to steal the horse. Really? Yeah. Now that is interesting. It quite—it is, yes. Then you should know that Louis and I Louis. have a certain history. Tell you what. Go along with his plans for now. I'll really? keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. Louis. Fancy yourself the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat I prowess would prove valuable in a real Okay, I, 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 okay, I'll let you eat your dinner. I apologize. This guy just will not shut up. So, uh, yeah. I think we did the right thing. She wants us to go along with it, so we've got to continue on with that, it looks like. She's gawking at us. Let's go, uh... There's nowhere to sit here, actually. Unless there's another table around somewhere. Doesn't look like it, Inigo. Maybe, uh... Let's go. And, uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Maybe, uh, after one of these tables frees up. Now I see Snowshod sitting there. Let's go check out. See if we can get into their place quick here. Okay. You wait here, okay? I will be here. Yeah, stand guard. Need to get a golden ship model out of here. This could be a quick, easy fix. Now I saw Angier, Snowshod, and his father sitting at the B and Bar. Oh, we gotta go around that way. Damn it! I thought I heard a door. Because we 
don't have much time. I don't know if anybody else is here. Anybody's around, so should still be sneaking. But I'm just not seeing this ship model, so it's got to be downstairs. I just want to get this done before we. Uh, lost a daughter apparently so I don't want to go get too much from them so let's get out of here sooner we can get these done and get back to Randy off and Delvin and Vex the better we are let's go Inigo now okay where are we going now let's uh see if we can check out another Wheeled Manor. Let's go down below, Inigo. Good evening. Just out for a little stroll. Blackbriar Manor. Definitely don't want to go in there. We have to do a sweep job here and get... Good evening. Get ourselves... Let's go down below. Let's go see if there's anything down below. There are some houses down there, Inigo. So we should be able to... Oh, dress house is trying this one. Come on. Here we go. Are you coming in this one with me, Inigo? Doesn't look like they have much in these. Is there in here? There is a guy sleeping. It's ten gold. It's not much, but. in here at all. Let's go. Poor guy. I don't know if it's a good idea if you come in these places with me or not, Inigo, but so far, so good. What is... Oh, that's the rat way. Okay. A few apples. It says a thief cache. Amethyst. Not worth much, but there's some stuff in here. Dagger of smoldering. Target burns for one point per second until combat ends. That could be handy. Thieves cache. That's interesting. Come get me. I will do. I'm having trouble, Inigo. There we go. I think one of our best 
bet might be to go to one of the shops, like maybe the Pond Prawn or something. Sweet roll. Oh my god. Apple pie. Some cheese. Oh, we did it. We did it. Let's see if there's anybody here. Yes. jobs completed. All right, we did it, my man. Let's head to the Thieves Guild and show off what we were able to do. Okay, following. The hell? Isn't that, uh... The Lioness, what was her name again? I forget her name. But that was the guy that's always clinging to her. The guy that's trying to bang her. Mule. That was her name, Mule. Oh. Fancy yourself the adventurer. Yes, I, I do. Maven, how you doing? We'll take care of that task that you asked. Let's get away from this guy, man. He's just like too much, man. Do you hear this guy? Most decent people are warm in their beds right now. We're not decent, though, Inigo. We're thieves. Let's go check out what's back here. We gotta get back down to the rat way. We should have just went down from there, I guess. Graveyard. Ooh, look at these flowers though. Nightshade. Let's try a nightshade and see what they do. Nightshade. Damage health. Oh, oh, ow. That wasn't good. This is why I wanted to do it at home. Thieves kill discovered. Definitely can use these for some potions though. Damage health. We can make some we can make our own poisons, Inigo. Put them on arrows and our blades. Let's try it out. This is like uh Yeah. <gasps> Press button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we go see? Let's go down and see. This could be uh, a place we want to. <gasps> the ragged flagon! Well, no way! These are really smelly, don't you think? In a good way. Yeah, it does kind of reek. So you, this is a shortcut out of the ragged flagon. In I go. Let's go in. And let's go see the boys and Vex, Tanelia. Hey, what's going on, man? Come here a second. I am here. What's a lot up? Of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me and you. Impressed with Just me? Wanted to let you know. I see. Oh, you're an archery trainer. That could come in pretty handy. How did you end up here in the guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working Valenwood? at my father's winery. Right. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips. I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Why didn't you stay? So wh why would you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Gotcha. Working at the winery. Yeah. Social visits with friends. Yep. Parties with no one I cared about. Oh. I just wanted a little excitement. Yeah. Something That's dangerous. where I came. Absolutely. So you like being a thief? I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Uh -huh. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. Gotcha. So how'd you end up here in Skyrim? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Oh. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. Wow. 
Kind of threw you the right the hell out of there, hey? That must have been kind of difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Good for you, man. That's always the way to go. As long as you're happy and healthy, that's all that matters. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. I will do. I'll definitely uh, hit you up. New ruin. Nice talking to you, man. No word yet. Rune, I've used every source at my disposal and I still can't find a trace of your parents. Whoever they are, they've completely erased themselves from history. This is quite a feat considering the quality of my sources. If I come up with anything else, I'll be certain to contact you. Ethel Newberry. I better leave that alone. It's not for me to take. I don't want to piss anybody off here. Ah. Gold in a lock. I don't mind if I do. And who might you be? Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Okay. Now. I'm right here. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Yeah, I am kind of tough. Coin for the guild, making us look I am. Too. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I uh, didn't know. I, well, yeah, I brought in a little bit. I went and collected a few things for Brynja, but that's it. So. uh... I don't know how I know this, but you were part of a bandit clan, were you? I joined up with them maybe 10 years ago. Okay, gotcha. Small clan, maybe 20 men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. Ah. It was always about the killing. Right. Them. I kind of like the solo sort of thing, so that wasn't really for you, though, eh? Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. Right. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. Oh, you're kind of a stud, are you? So what's uh, changed now? You shrivel up or something? We raided a caravan one spring. Oh, okay, I yeah. There was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek. Garthek. He us to kill the rest. Ah. Oh. Wasn't uh, quite up your alley, eh? You hadn't really done anything like that before? No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, huh. I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. That's we good. We tore each other to pieces. Oh, great. After it was over, Guess it wasn't those that of us good. that remained simply went our separate ways. Ah. And what about Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Wow. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Gotcha. Well, that's pretty interesting, man. Go well, Thrin. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'm not really much of a fighter, more of a stealth kind of character, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep in mind. Thanks so much for uh, chatting there, buddy. Well, oh, we already talked about this. I got to get over and see Delvin and Vex and. Uh, it's kind of interesting over here. And who are we over here? Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Yeah, I guess I Sapphire. What do you want? And Trina, I've talked to you. Sapphire. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, understand that. Yeah, totally understand that. So, uh, are you ever going to tell me your real name? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Okay. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, obviously you got a chip on your shoulder about something. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Ah, pig farmer. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh, that's not good. That uh, doesn't sound great at all. Oh, wait. It gets much better. How about okay. the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they oh. killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Unreal. Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You don't have to continue. It's all good. It's fine. 
I had to tell someone, I suppose. Well, Carrying I'm always... The like that, it hurts after a while. Yeah. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Well, I can uh, definitely appreciate where you're coming from. And uh, just know that, you know, when I'm around, I'm always here to, you know, bend an ear and, and let you uh, vent a little bit. So, I, by the way, how did you end up escaping all that? Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Right. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. Oh, my. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Well... I'm uh, kind of afraid to ask, uh, knowing what you did to those guys. But uh, you never did really tell me your name. But it's not important. Sapphire's cool with me. Maybe one day. Just not today. Gotcha. All right. Well, Maybe you have I'll a see you, around the you will. I'm sure you will, Sapphire. You take it easy and don't uh, just keep your chin up. I'm sure you're. Uh, you seem like a pretty strong woman, Mercer. How you doing, sir? All right, we better get over and find the rest of the clan. Because I am excited to let them know what we've done. Oh, we were, we don't, we're in there going the wrong way here, Inigo. I don't know how they're going to feel about you all dressed up in uh, Thieves Guild garb, but you did apply. You tried to pickpocket Vex. She kicked you in the nuts and uh, declined you, but I'm going to say I'm vouching for you if anything is said, okay? Oh, running into a bed there. There we go. Hey, guys. What's going on, man? Good to so, see everybody. Protege, eh? Yeah, Don't somewhat. Like much to me. Brynjolf, how you doing? All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. I won't. I'm looking for Delvin. Oh, Tanelia, I gotta see you as. All yeah, eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. You know, you only have to tell me things like once, maybe, I don't know, twice, but that's it. All eyes are on you, lad. Okay, okay, us. okay. I got it. Jesus Christ, what's with this guy? That is... There's Vex, the Vex. Worth talking about? I did, I got some well, good news for you. you. done or what? I completed all these jobs you asked me to. Fine. I guess you'll need your coin then. That wouldn't hurt. A hundred for that, hey? And uh, I'll get back to you when I want to get some more work here pretty quick. Come on, I just want to go. Some... Job so we can both make some money. Okay, you okay. Ready for some work or are you just going to wander around all day? Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. All right. Thank you very much, Vex. We got some more. Hey, Tanelia, how you doing? Delvin, there you are, buddy. Got some uh, good news for you, my man. Oh, you're back. Yeah, and I got all these jobs taken care of for you, so here you go. This kind of work suits you, but it's going to end up making you rich. That's what I'm here for, my man. Here's the bedlam job. Here's your share. Well done. At least you uh, talk about different, you say something different every time. Uh, here's the numbers job. Good job. Now, here's your part of the deal. Perfect. And I'm, uh... oh, wait a second. Before we get into this, Someone's paying me to steal Maven Black Blackbriar's horse. Now, I think I know what your answer is going to be. And I think I'm a step ahead of you. I already talked to Maven. Who in their right mind would be stupid enough to pay you to steal from Maven? Louis Latrush and Sibby Blackbriar. Yes, I should have known. Maven and Sibby have been at odds ever since she had him tossed into jail. Look, if I were you... I'd proceed carefully. Yep. Crossing Maven. I'm ahead of you. one of the first things you learn not to do when you're down here. That's one of the very as first things the I did learn. Concerned, this is between Sibby and Maven. So we're going to officially stay out of it. Ooh. Well, I did talk to Maven and she, uh, said to go along with it. I guess I kind of overstepped my boundaries. So I'll keep that in mind. All right. Anyways. Here's, uh, I need some more work if you got some kicking around. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. I know you do. The ones with a more personal touch. And more personal. Break into more your thing, 
Go talk to Vex. Already did. Retire before you know it. All right. You bet. Thanks, Delvin. Okay, so we got some more jobs to do. And, uh, what time are we looking at here? Ooh, it's 5.19 a.m. What do you say we just chill out, have a little bit of a bite to eat? And, uh, head back out. I do want to talk to Tanelia. I've got some things to sell her. Tanelia! If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. I got all the extra work I need. I got a couple things I'd like to sell you if you don't mind. I give special rates to members of the I know you do, and that's why I'm here. Show me what you've got. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, go ahead, eat. I didn't want to interrupt you. I just wanted to get rid of some of that stuff. All right, Indigo. Well, that does it, man. We got our first round of jobs done. We've got some more to set out and do. I think we've impressed him somewhat, except for old Brynjolf there, who keeps telling me he's got his eyes on me. So tomorrow, let's go have a bite to eat and a little bit of rest, and we'll set back out and do some more of these jobs, all right? Why is everybody watching us? <laughs>